gave them water of wisdom to drink. It made strong in them and will not be moved. It raised them up forever. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Turn to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. He came to call sinners Christ, have mercy. You're seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Gloria in excelsis Deo. Ed in terra pax hominibus, bone voluntate, claramus te, benedicimus te, adoramus te, glorificamus te, gracia sagemus tibi, Propter magnum gloriam tuam, Domine Deus rex celestis, Deus pater omnipotens, Domine fili unigenite, Jesu Christe, Domine Deus Sanius Dei, Filius Patris, qui toles peccata mundi, miserere renovis, qui toles peccata mundi, suscipe de Precationem nostra, qui sedes ad exterum patris, miserere nobis, quoniam tu solus sanctus, tu solus dominus, tu solus altissimus. Jesu Christe, cum Santo Spiritu, in gloria Dei Patris. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have bestowed on us paschal remedies, endow your people with heavenly gifts, so that possessed of perfect freedom, they may rejoice in heaven over what gladdens them now on earth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. When the day of Pentecost had come, Peter, standing in with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed the crowd. Let the entire house of Israel know with certainty that God has made him both Lord and Messiah, 
this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when the people heard this, they were cut to the heart and said to Peter and to other apostles, Brothers, what should we do? Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, so that your sins may be forgiven, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you, for your children, and for all who are far away, everyone whom the Lord our God calls to him. And Peter testified with many other arguments and exhorted them, saying, Save yourselves from this corrupt generation. So those who welcomed his message were baptized, and that day about 3,000 persons were added to their number. The word of the Lord. Responsorial Psalm, our response is, the earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The word of the Lord is upright, and all his work is done in faithfulness. He loves righteousness and justice, and the earth is full of the steadfast love of the Lord. The earth is full of goodness of the Lord. Truly the eye of the Lord is on those who fear him, on those who hope in his steadfast love, to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. The earth is full of good is of the Lord. Our soul waits for the Lord. He is our help and shield. Let your steadfast love, O Lord, be upon us, even as we hope in you. The earth is full of goodness of the This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. 
with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Mary Magdalene stood weeping outside the tomb. As she wept, she bent over to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had been lying, one at the head, the other at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, They have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing there, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Do not hold on to me, because I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them that he had said these things to her. The Gospel of the Lord. In the first reading, we hear about St. Peter and his preaching uh, at Pentecost. And um, beautiful, uh, beautiful teaching and and many souls come back to God. And you can imagine how the people of Jerusalem felt. You know, um, they went from proclaiming him to crucifying him. There must have been lots of kind of examinations of consciences because Jesus healed many people around them, maybe some of their own relatives, and then they had turned on him. They had had asked for his death, and um, I'm sure some, you know, were stuck in their anger, but I'm sure many were saddened by how they had foolishly gone away from what they knew to be true and good. And Peter gives them this opportunity to repent and come back to God. What a great, what a great relief for so many, many of these people would have been to know that God has opened his heart to them, that they had an opportunity to come back and, and to uh, experience the grace and glory of God. And if we really look at our world right now, there's, you know, billions of people that want to come back. They're just, no one is proclaiming the resurrection to them. No one is proclaiming another chance, that there's something greater than what they experience. They're bombarded their whole life, you know, into distraction. Whereas God uh, is giving the whole world an, another chance, a chance to come back to him. But we ourselves must take the chance, first of all. You know, we must take we must take the risk and live the resurrection in our own life and, and to enjoy, enjoy what God has for us on a daily basis. You know, even the trials, the, the, the struggles, that we know they came from a loving hand. And that's our resurrected life, that, okay, these things can perfect me. These things can help me grow. That, yeah, it's not what I wanted, but, you know, Lord... With you, I'll make the best of it. You know, I'll enjoy, I'll enjoy what comes to me, and that's really the life of a Christian: is the opportunity to enjoy what happens to us in life, to profit from the different trials and and beauty and and joy and and to find beauty in those small things. We we get a chance to truly live a perfect day each day, and and to progress uh, in the love of God each day.
Dear brothers and sisters, filled with paschal joy, let us pray more earnestly to God that he who graciously listens to the prayers and supplications of his beloved Son may now be pleased to look upon us in our lowliness. We pray for our Holy Father Francis, for Pope Emeritus Benedict, for our Bishop Joseph, for their health, intentions, and constant growth in faith, hope, and charity. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray um, for the grace uh, to embrace the new life you're offering us, Lord, in your resurrection through your sacrament, that we may proclaim your goodness in our lives so that others may see and join and, and follow you with their whole heart as well. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for all those who um, are baptized and are not experiencing the resurrected life of Christ. God's grace may be upon them this day. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for those who are attacking religious freedom, attacking the sanctity of life, for the conversion of their souls, and for the grace for people to fight against them. For this we pray to the Lord. We pray for the sick, the dying, the afflicted, that God may have mercy and grace on them. And that uh, we may participate well in this Divine Mercy Sunday. For this we pray to the Lord. This Mass we pray in a special way for the repose of the soul of Dorothea Tagalog. For this we pray to the Lord. A moment of silence to offer for our own prayers and petitions. Pray to the Lord. We pray for all the holy souls in purgatory, and we ask them to join us with the saints and angels in heaven, especially Saint Joseph, our Blessed Mother, Saint Juliana, to pray for more vocations to the priesthood, to the consecrated life, and the holy matrimony, to preserve all those in their vocations, and assist us in our universal call of holiness. For this we pray to the Lord. God, who knows that our life in this present age is subject to suffering and need, hear the desires of those who cry to you and receive the prayers of those who believe you. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, the fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, that will become our spiritual drink. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accepting compassion, O Lord, we pray the offerings of your family, that under her protective care they may never lose what they have received, but attain the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but in this time above all to lodge you yet more gloriously. In Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he destroyed our death, and by rising he restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalt in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sings together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. From the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, be given up for you. similar way when supper was ended he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples saying take this all of you and drink from it for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins do this in memory of me Mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, 
as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Live not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. the Lamb of God, behold him he takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you.
have risen with Christ, seek the things that are above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Mind the things that are above. Alleluia. Let us pray. Hear us, Almighty God, and as you have bestowed on your family the perfect grace of baptism, so prepare their hearts for the reward of eternal happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. The Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, alleluia, alleluia.